What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm George, my wife Mills, and today she's going to be my caddy. I'm gonna to have to listen to her on every shot, every read, literally everything, and she's gonna pull the clubs for me. So please, please choose wisely. But it should be fun, let's get in the video. Hole one? Hole one, she knows, always hit driver on this hole. But I think <laughs> this might be the only hole. Four! Seriously, honey? Ow. <laughs> Off to kind of a rough start. Almost took out some guy on the 18th tee box. <laughs> Feel kind of terrible. We can confirm I did not hit him, thank goodness. He said I was like <laughs> two feet away. Uh, Mills, I would have blamed that all on you, by the way, for giving me that club. <laughs> <sighs> Kidding. All right, here we go. Actually, good position. About there, about 50 yards away. What's the club? 54 degree. I mean, I'll take. I would use 58, but 54, you're close. Hey, <laughs> isn't this supposed to be my doing? I feel like George is gonna say that on every. No, club that it's I not pick. true. He's gonna say, "Oh well, I would have chosen this, but." This is actually perfect. I'm gonna hit a low shot, and it's gonna run up the hill. So you actually chose wisely. So See? thank you. Greens are a little softer than they usually are. I chose this putter. In case you and didn't the green know. read. And I'm, uh, what, what are we working with here? Uh, right to left, about a foot to the right. Foot to the right. It's locked in. Oh. oh. Pretty good read. All right, what we got? Uh, a little left edge. All right. So the read was really about this far out on the left, so I did I had to hit that super firm in order for that to go in. But hey, we got par, we got par. Hole number two, par five. What we're going with? Yes, two for two. Let's go. What was that jumping? I couldn't get it out. All right, y'all know hole two, par five. The line is over those trees. I'm just gonna try to start it over the trees and send it. Oh no. Right. All right, pro tip for you guys. Most of the time, you always blame the caddy or it's always the caddy's fault, but when your wife is caddying for you or your significant other, don't ever blame the caddy. It's not a good idea. Um, I'm gonna try to stick to that today and, and it all be my fault if I hit bad shots. We got a little issue here. Tree trouble, the pin is right back there. Got 115 yards, Millsy. What are we going with? <laughs> Love the confidence. A six iron. I mean, hey, I'll take it. Probably pretty close to what I'd hit, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't come here to lay up, so we're gonna try to hit this low hooking six iron through like that gap. Um, don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna try it. Hey, might actually have a good angle from over there. All right, how far? Yeah, we got actually kind of a good break here, but we got tree trouble. Actually, wow, those are high. We got 115 yards. Choose one. How far was the last one? Um, Mills, I got 115. Was it also 116? Mills, I got 115 yards. Um, six iron again. Did you do six iron last time? And if so, where right. did you put it? Mills, what, what are you going with? <laughs> A six iron. Six iron. So I'm... <laughs> Is that a bad? I gotta play it. So the reason I hit six iron on the last shot was because I was trying to hit oh. it low and under trees. <laughs> I would usually hit sand wedge given I need to hit it over those trees. <laughs> but hey, you'll, you'll know for next time. I'll, I gotta do the six iron. Oh no. <laughs> Wish me luck. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to take the uh, low slice approach instead of going over the trees like I uh, had wanted to. But nonetheless, going to play this little gap, play a little slicer six iron. I think I should make it work though. Just a little bit. Hey, 
were on the grain, didn't slice. I kind of played it pretty conservative there, but all right, Millsy, what we got? Um, hit it way left. I like that. We're going to run with it. Good read. Way left it is. Oh, I didn't hit it. Perfect read. You had the read right. I needed to execute better, but we can make up for that. Millsy? Uh, left edge again. Oh my oh. gosh. I had to play it firm again, Millsy. Mm -hmm. Should we count that? Comment down below. Does that count? No. Like, the pin would have been out. That totally goes in. Nah. All right, as we go to the third hole, I'm one over. That is not a good bogey. I think we both can be to blame on that one. Um, hey, what happened to not blaming your caddy? Your caddy? Today, because I'm your wife. Huh? Um, no comment. All right, driver on yeah. hole three. You know the deal. Driver, what, one, two, three? Yep, this is three. One, two, three drivers. Drivers, one, two, three. There you go. Muchos betteros. <laughs> there was pretty solid. Um, I think you're thinking that so far. Me picking your clubs hasn't been that bad. It's yeah, absolutely. Six iron, you still hit it on the green. Which is and a three putt. My speed hasn't been great today, obviously, through three holes or through two holes. I didn't put it either. I know. Your reads have not been bad. Like, you've gotten the direction. You've These greens are tough to read, and you've underread a couple of them. Oh, the short ones? which has made it a little difficult for me to make it. But honestly, I just need to putt it closer and then we won't have to worry about that. So, the hole three is a new hole. It's a new day, it's a new beginning, a new opportunity for birdie. And we're gonna see how long I can have um, this recording and to see how long I can talk. Whee! 132, what are we going with? Nine iron. Is that bad again? Gotta give it to me. So, I'll probably hit 50 degree here. See, I told you you would do this every time. So when do you ever hit your irons? <laughs> when do I hit them? I'll tell you, after I hit my driver, my tee shot, usually I hit my irons. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, good to know. All right, we're going nine iron 130. <laughs> Had the club face a little open impact, but the swing um, distance was all good. So onward we go. The good thing is about this is I need to work on my like three quarter and little punch shots. So what you what you are doing today is kind of helping me out in the long run. But on that last shot, so I think I figured out my ball position was a hair too far back. Oh gosh. Um, so I actually hit a shot afterwards and put the ball position a little far farther forward and made a pretty good swing. So moving forward, if if Mills misclubs me, I'll know to, on those little chip shots, put the ball a little farther forward, and it'll be good to go. All right, what are we going with here? A. Nice. Got it. All right, as you can see, we got a decent look at birdie. We're not mad at that. Um, there was my second one I was talking about. So as you can see, much closer and a uh, much better shot. Okay, way right, so like yes. you, you three feet. It. Three feet, that is, a, that is such a good read. And downhill, so it's gonna be very fast. No excuses if I don't make this. Millsy, Millsy. Oh. Good, hey, that's on you, that was 100% you, good read. Should I put now? <gasps> hey, good job. Great job. All right, as we head to the fourth hole, uh, one over. We're starting to find our groove. We're starting to find our rhythm as a uh, duo. So expect a lot of birdies. 130 yards, Mills. 130. Nine iron. I'll go with nine. Hey, you're getting closer. Normally would hit a pitching wedge, but hey, I, I, this is the club I hit last hole. <laughs> Guys, pitching wedge and a nine iron are basically a very similar club. <laughs> so, so similar. that's a pretty good choice, right? It's Comment not bad. down I'm, below this, if you this think is what that, I need that was my on. closest one yet. 
Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. Closest only... out of the wrongs. It's better than me telling you like a driver. I mean, I agree. <laughs> and this is good. I need to work. This is the shot I had in the last hole, and it's the yardage I need to work on. Golly, that's just such a bad swing. I was 100% scared on that shot. All right, I apologize for my venting on the last uh, tee shot. Um, hit another nine iron to like 50 feet. Not too happy. But Mills is a green reading expert. So, come on, Mills. Here's my tee shot. There's the pin. Not my best, but it's okay. I think that it is outside the left. She says outside left. We'll see. I don't know what the heck it does, honestly. But it actually might be pretty good. Hey, good read. Not bad. It came this way coming to here. What, uh, what are you thinking? Right edge. All right, sure. <laughs> nice read. And no, that was not cheating. I was simply giving her the facts of what the last putt did to help her with her green reading decision. <laughs> All, All right, right, Mills, hole number five, par four. What uh, what club? S smoke driver. I would normally hit a hybrid here, but I'm all for being aggressive today, so let's go. We be in. Oh, there's my tea. All right, so in all honesty, driver here is a really good play. It's a little aggressive, but the, um, cause the fairway is like 20 yards wide where I hit it but it makes me narrow my focus and really work on just picking a good target and swinging freely. So Mills, wherever you are, well done. There's my ball, hit it just too far and right through the middle of the fairway. Um, we got about, I don't know, 75, 65, 80 yards, I don't know, somewhere in there. Club, did you select? 50 degree. Really pretty close on this shot. I'm gonna hit, I would hit like a little, I'd probably hit 54 here, um, but it's fun, I like this. Yeah, I got 65, and honestly, this is a lot closer than I thought. I'm giving her a lot of crap, but um, I'm gonna hit like a, kind of a, a choke slice nipper spinner <laughs> thing. <laughs> That's what it's gonna feel like. Everybody know what a choke slice nipper spinner is? Kind of like that. That is what a choke, slicer, nipper, spinner is. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet you didn't think I could recite that too, didn't you? No, I didn't. Or without, did you? Without jittering. Oh, okay, Wesley. Jittery George. Or should I say George? For all of you who've picked up on that nickname, it's quite fascinating. Yeah, so the origin story behind George um, is honestly goes back to Mark Silvers, a teammate of mine at South Carolina. Um, there was a guy that played for the Braves. He was a pitcher, Jair Jurgens. And naturally, we were Braves fans. He was like, Jurgens? George sounds like Jurgens, so we're gonna call you George. So that's where it originated and it kind of stuck. So Silvers, if you're out there watching, thank you for the nickname and now Wesley, and now my wife apparently. We need this, this is a big putt to get us back to even par. Also, can we look at that shot I just hit. 70 yard bunker shot. A 50 degree? All right, what do you think? Right edge a little bit, like about a foot. Right edge a bit like a foot. So does that mean I hit a foot in front of me or I hit it a foot out of right edge? Right edge a foot would be right edge a foot. So foot of the right edge. <laughs> point, right edge a foot. We're still trying to figure out what that means. Um, right edge to hit a foot or a foot outside of right edge. But Nobody knows. We're gonna play it right edge. I think she's got a pretty good read. Uh -oh. ah, left edge. Bad read. It's okay. We can, hey, pars are not bad. Pars are our friend. Still one over as we head to the sixth hole. Um, I'm sorry, that one was all my fault. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, it, this green is tricky, I'll give you that. Um, but yeah, one over going to the sixth hole. 
I mean, eventually we're gonna make some birdies. I, I, I feel it. What, what am I hitting? High B. Nice, so actually I do hit hybrid on this it. hole. Um, driver is too much, hole six, straight away par four. Nice work. Hit up the right side. Um, it's kind of where you want to hit, hit from on this hole. Oh, um, no worries. All right, so I got 145. Um, it kind of hit over here and kicked it right, but there's a tree that overhangs the uh, green right there. Um, so you don't want to be left. So I was trying to hit it right side of the fairway. So honestly, where my ball is, right there. Um, I like this angle. I'm not mad at the shot at all. Mills, we got 145. Into the wind, what are we hitting? Um, either a 9 iron or a pitching wedge. Could you tell me which one? Which one? 9 iron. Yes, nice that work. Right. Yeah. Wow. Nine iron, good job. Whoop, whoop. Get up a little bit. Okay. 12 feet, 15 feet. Wow. All right, so my ball landed right there, spun back. Thought I was going to bounce a little forward. That's why I thought I was going to have a little closer look. But I mean, 20 foot birdie pot here. Millsy? It's going to go to the left. Nice. How much? So, is it going to break a lot or a little? Uh, a, a little. What's a little? Like six inches. All right, six inches. I think I started that outside six inches. I might have accidentally pushed that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you're getting, you got the direction part right. Another par. We're searching for our first birdie as a team. Heading to the seventh hole. Pivotal stretch. Uh, still one of our par. Mills? Right. Driver. I knew it. We're on the same page off the tee, that is for sure. Hole seven. Actually, a tough little hole today. Into the wind. Good driving hole. Nice. Good drive here. 90 yards to the pin right there. Millsy? 58. <laughs> nice, there you go, you're yeah. learning. Oh. Nice job. Cool. Gun play it's about 100 yards. Um, into the wind, I'll land it behind the hole, spin it, so. Oh, come on, please. Oh, I, I was afraid of that. The greens are super soft right now. And that landed, I mean, it spun way off the green, but it hit that really nice. All right, here's my ball, pin. My ball landed like 10 feet behind it. Just had a little too much spin. The greens are a little softer. I keep forgetting that, but got to look at birdie. All right, Millsy, what do you think here? Just intently reading it. Really going full tiger mode. I feel like it's pretty straight. Hey, you know what? That's what we're going with. I don't know what it's doing either, so we'll go straight. Pushed it. Pretty good read. It might have gone a hair left, but straight probably would have gone in if I would have hit it harder. All right, Mills, encourage me here. We got two holes to go. I'm, eat, I'm one over. Encourage. We're going to smoke a drive. Okay. And then, you know what? We're going to drive the green. Okay. What about that? I like where this is going. Heading to hole eight, drivable hole downwind, um, one over par. So let's get it. You already told me what we were doing on the last hole. Got the wind blower, the leaf blower back there. Hole eight. A wind blower? <laughs> I'll know if I got enough. Close. Might be pit high though. We'll see. We should have a little pit shot in the screen. Um, it was downwind. Oh, yep, about 50 yards short of the green. Perfect, perfect. I need this. Mills, we need this. We can do it. Here we go. Good position. Didn't quite catch it all, um, but as you can see, good look. About 40 yards. Mills, what do you think? Pitching wedge. <laughs> Love it. Let's go. All right, since we're going with the 46 degree or the pitching wedge, we're going to be landing this one kind of closer to the front of the green and let it roll back there. Kind of like so. 
What you what you smile about about back there, Milzy? That was great. Guess my picture wedge wasn't too bad yeah. after all, huh? He said, I would have typically shows up at 58 degree. You walk up here and talk. Pitch and wedge it is to foot. This is one of the many reasons why this format is great and having your wife choose your clubs because I probably wouldn't choose I wouldn't probably wouldn't have chosen a 46 degree there, but I did. And now we got a good look at Birdie. Um, and it expanded my horizon. So if I'm in a tournament, you know what? I might just choose a pitch wedge again. Well, I don't know why I'm reading it. Mills, what, what do you got here? Uh, a little bit outside left edge. Millsy, that one was all you. Literally the entire hole. Driver, the pitching wedge, and the reed. That is what we needed. So as we head to the ninth hole, even par, where are you going? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> even par heading to last. Um, God, where are you going? Stop. Downwood par three. Should have a good look at birdie if I hit a good iron shot. All right, we got 165, Millsy. Downwind. Nine iron. Oh, I like it. 160 is my perfect nine iron distance, but it's downwind and the pins in the back. So nine iron is what I would choose in a tournament. So we got this thing by the ninth hole. <laughs> Let's go. No, 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 no! Catch the piece right there! Oh. A hair left of the green. Alright, here's my ball. There's the pin. I think it hit somewhere right here, kicked to the left, but it brought all the wedges. What am I gonna be hitting? 58. Nice, let's go. First time today, I think. Maybe the second. What? Saying let's go. Uh, third. So close. I think we can handle that one. What do you think? I'm not even gonna bring my putter. You sure? Positive. <laughs> and I think you can read this one correctly. All right, Millsy, first time caddying for me on the channel. How was it? Honestly, not terrible. I think I got better as the round went on. I concur. Yeah. Yeah. You did great. And it was a lot of fun. It got me hitting some uncomfortable iron shots like the uh, 116 yard six iron. Uh, it was only like four clubs off, but no. Um, for real. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It got me hitting some weird shots. Um, it worked on my creativity and I even got to hit a shot on the last hole uh, from 40 yards with a pitching wedge. Normally wouldn't hit that shot. So got that one for the uh, arsenal moving forward. Anywho, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Mills, see you guys.